I'm sweaty, I'm sticky, but I'm getting some great shots. Today I want to talk about the MyOps Smart Remote Trigger that MyOps sent me. And like all of my reviews that I do on this channel, I do them with making sure that I can give honest feedback and I only make videos like this one if I actually enjoy using the product and would like to suggest it to my photography students and whoever's watching this. Behind me, you can see a crazy setup and you can see actually what's going on in my camera right here. I'm trying to achieve some high speed product drink photography. And that's something that I am now able to do with the MyOps Smart Trigger, something that I couldn't have done without it. There's a lot of different tutorials out there and you can go to MyOps website to see what all the capabilities are. But basically a trigger allows you to plug in. Sometimes it's just a button where you press it and it will take a photo and it allows you to be farther away from your camera. That's the traditional trigger. But the MyOps Smart Camera Trigger has all these smart features that allows it to sense things. And when it senses a certain event, it will then trigger the camera. So for example, it has modes where it will sense lightning. And if you, you've ever gone out and tried to shoot photos of lightning, you'll know it's kind of a guessing game. You're just taking photos as soon as you see the first flash and you're hoping that you capture it. But with the MyOps tr Smart Trigger, there's a mode that can sense the lightning and will actually snap the photo at that precise moment. You can set it to sense sound, motion, all kinds of different events to trigger. You can also use it as a great and easy way to do time lapses, to plug in a specific amount of time, long exposures, or just fast exposures for a certain amount of time and create awesome time lapses. What I'm using it for though is being able to capture high speed product photography as a solo photographer. The traditional way to do this would be I would set up my camera right here, I would set up my product right here, and then if I had an assistant, they would be doing burst mode on the camera as I drop ice or whatever into my glass, my beverage. And that's great if you have a second camera person, but I'm here by myself. And so what I have set up the MyOps Smart Trigger to do is to detect sound. So when I make a noise, it could be whatever noise. I could say, take a photo, or I could just clap, or I could, what I'm doing, I'm just going, Boop, which is kind of awkward. But when I make that sound, it, it triggers my camera. Now I'm using the Fuji X-T4, my personal camera, but the Smart Trigger works with pretty much any DSLR or mirrorless camera. And when you purchase it, you choose the camera and they will send you the right attachment to connect to your camera. It comes with a smartphone app, which makes it super easy to choose your settings, set it up. You set the level of audio that you want it to trigger at. So if you are in a noisier environment, you can set it to only trigger when there's a big bang like thunder, for example, or whatever you want. But because I'm in a controlled environment, it's I can set it very low. So now I'm gonna turn around and show you actually how this works in this setup. I'm over here, I have my camera shooting with an 80 millimeter prime lens, and it's on portrait mode. Attached to it is the smart MyOps trigger right here. You can see that there. And I just have it attached here. If I had the hot shoe mount, I could attach it to the hot shoe of my camera. I've set my camera to a very fast shutter speed, 2,000th of a second, uh, 4.0 aperture, and I've bumped up the ISO to 1250 just because I need a little extra light. I have two continuous lights on this, one in the background, which casts this great light coming through the beverage, which makes it kind of pop from the background, and then one in the front showing the details of our beverage and what we're dropping into our cup because I've done this with like different types of drinks with berries and different things. So once I am all set up with my backdrop, I just have a black sort of pop-up backdrop. I've used this piece of glass on top of a black paper to create this kind of reflection. Once I am happy with this setup, what I will do is 
I will come over here. I will make sure that my trigger is working and it looks like it's actually been taking photos this whole time. So on here, I have set it to trigger based off of sound. And when I'm ready to go, I can turn it on. And then basically what I've been doing is I've been getting a piece of ice or whatever. And you'll hear it. So let's be quiet. If I go, boop, boop, you'll see it on the screen that it's actually triggering. I'm getting a ton of photos now. <laughs> Wasted space. But now I just have to time it right so I can go, boop, and hopefully it captured that splash. And that is pretty much it. So now I'm checking out our photos that we captured. So let me bring up a couple of these. So here I have uh, a few that actually came out pretty good with this setup. So you have to time it right so that you are triggering it at the right moment. And there's settings in the MyOps app where you can actually delay it. So say there's like a sound, you can delay it by the millisecond, how long after you want it to uh, shoot. And I would say that's probably the biggest uh, issue that I've run into, not that it's a bad thing on MyOps part, but just getting used to the timing of this when I'm doing it by myself. But this is a shot that I could not have gotten without this trigger by myself in my home garage studio. And so I really think it's a cool product. I mean, the first thing that I thought about using it for was I often have to take photos of myself for whether it's a YouTube thumbnail or a headshot for my profiles. And I just don't have a second shooter that can take those photos. And, and of course, a lot of cameras have options for doing like a timer and you'd go click the shutter release, and then you go sit down, pose. But by being able to actually set it based off like a sound, for example, I can just be sitting, posing, and I could just say, boop, or snap, and it will take a photo. And like I said, you could have it delayed, so I could be like, take a photo, smile, and then do that as many times as I want in that location without having to reach over, hit the trigger on the camera, or even with, a lot of these cameras, they do come with apps that allow you to press a button, it connects to your camera remotely, but it just doesn't work as well and have as many options as this MyOps Smart Trigger. So these are pretty cool. I did another setup. Let me go up to those other photos. Here we have another one. I did like some berry splash. This one's cool. Yeah, this one's super dope. I like that. And I'm gonna take these into the editing room edit them and I'll share some of the photos here at the end of the video. You can probably see them over on my Instagram too. But thanks MyOps for sending this. Like I said before, I'm not paid to say this. They did send me the product for free. I would definitely suggest it for someone who's doing this kind of photography or if you're doing things like lightning photography or if you need something that will help you get time lapses, video lapses, astro photography, star lapses and you don't know how to do it on your own camera or it's not, your camera doesn't have an intervalometer that's able to do that easily, using the MyApp Smart Filter is one way to do that. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video review and I'll see you in another one. Bye.